it's just the stories that Ji Chang said here and there, you know, and I just remember part of it. But I remember he told me Ji Chang's mother remarried and the father treated my father so mean that Ji Chang's mother just couldn't stand to watch that. So she saved a little bit of money and told him to go to America. That's where, you know, he, he really went through a lot. He only had a few dollars and he was a houseboy. He tramped most of the way. And then he came to Terminal Island because he, he wanted to see Japanese. So the Terminal Island was becoming a, you know, a group of Japanese getting together. They were all fishermen. So he fished at the beginning. He really succeeded. He had two really flourishing restaurants. He did all right. <laughs> And then the war started. December 7, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. We heard that people were going to be evacuated. I thought we in Utah were also going to be. And at that time, I remember hating the farm because it was so much work. And so I thought, hot diggity, we get to go to camp. I was going to gather up my books and do a lot of reading. Hey, it was really weird feeling. Gee, I was so confused. <laughs> you know, I'm a U.S. citizen and they're putting me in jail. It's like today that you don't want any of the Syrians refugees. And I really wish for freedom. You know, that's when I thought nothing like freedom because you're just confined there. And then, and then you're so uncertain of who you are. You're, you're an American, but you know, you're in camp. I, I was so confused, a te little you know, teenager that didn't know, was a com you know, nothing but confused. Anybody who wanted to attend school east of the uh, Western states could. And so George ended up going to uh, the University of Utah. And that's where I met him. And that's where he met uh, Ruby. we always used was no shimpai. Shimpai means bother or worry. So whenever a problem confronts you and you can't solve it, you say, well, don't worry about it, you know, it'll pass.